I'm going to link below. I showed you how to make uh, an enemy sprite and how to control that enemy sprite to move around the screen. And we made this algorithm that makes the the little ball sprite here, our enemy sprite, move to the four corners of the screen of the stage. So let's watch that now. So off it goes around each corner and it should carry on looping like that forever, which is good. Um, but obviously it's quite easy to figure out that pattern uh, as the player and we might want something a little bit more random um, and random is the key word for this one so we can actually catch our player out and occasionally they might get bumped into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dismantle this and I'm going to grab just one of the glide buttons and I'm also going to click this little grey button here which a lot of people miss which actually just extends this part of the page for me. Um, and I can click it again and it will change it back. But this helps me because I'm going to need a lot of room for this. Um, so I've got this glide block. And I'm going to go to the operators. And I'm going to get the pick random number. Now, in one of my other videos, I explained that you've got your two axes. Your X axes and your Y axes. Your X is the one that runs across. Your Y is the one that runs up and down. Now, the top value in the X axis is 240. The bottom value, the, the lowest value, is minus 240. So I'm going to ask the computer to pick a random from minus 240 all the way up to 240, the positive 240. So it can pick anywhere on the x-axis for this ball to go to. Likewise, with the y-axis, we have an, the lowest number of minus 180 and the highest number of 180. So I'm going to grab another pick random, and I'm going to say, right, pick from the lowest value, minus 180, all the way up to the highest value, 180. Right, so when I click and plug that in, and I'm just going to increase the size of this side again, and click go, let's see what happens. Right, the ball chose to move to there. Let's click it again. Now it's moved down there. Every time I click go, it's choosing a new random place to move to. So it could end up anywhere on this stage, but it's only happening once. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this forever loop and I'm going to stick forever on it. And now let's see what that does. It should keep repeating that command. So you can see that actually now it's going all over the screen, sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Now that is because it's gliding for one second. So if it picks two points that are close to each other it has to go slower if they're further apart it has to go quicker i think this adds a little bit more interest and danger into your game because at any moment the enemies could dash towards you okay so i think this is a really nice way of increasing the difficulty in your game